Hey friends, it's Miss Helena here. Can I hear a big loud hello, Miss Helena? Awesome job. Friends, happy October. Wow, this is my very favorite month of the year for a couple reasons. I love the fall. I love when the leaves are changing and the weather gets a little chilly and you can wear a sweater or a flannel. I also love Halloween. Are you friends excited for Halloween? Tell me what you're gonna be. Wow, guess what? I have some really big news. We are having a trunk or treat drive through event right here at CCV. Are you guys excited? If you wanna come, parents, if you're in the room, be sure to sign up in the link in the bio below. It will be so much fun. You can stay in your car and drive through all the trunks, get some candy, get dressed up, and we'll even have a red carpet YouTube video. That will be so fun. That's a different sign up. So if you're interested in doing the red carpet event, make sure you do that sign up also. Two different sign ups. If you wanna host a trunk, you guessed it, third sign up. So you can host a trunk, you can come and drive through the trunks and you can also do the red carpet. It's gonna be so much fun. There's more information on all of our social media sites, so be sure to check it out. Now, as I said, we are in the month of October. I am so excited about this theme because it's kind of funny. Do you guys ever play outside in the rain? Maybe you sing in the rain you guys don't want to hear me sing, so I'll spare you that. But singing in the rain can be so much fun. But sometimes storms can be scary. Maybe it's raining really hard and there's thunder and lightning. Oh my gosh, do you ever get scared? Well, guess what? God's got it. And that's our bottom line. God's got it. Now, what does that mean? That means that no matter what is going on in our lives, whether it's a big scary storm, or maybe your favorite toy breaks, or your dog runs away, God's got it. Can you guys say that with me? One, two, three, God's got it. Awesome. That reminds me of our story today. All this month, we are going to be talking about how God rescues people from very scary and difficult situations. But before we do that, I would really like to go over our Bible verse for this month because we're going to be practicing it every week. Here we go. Good morning, friends. It is me, Miss Gabby, and today's Bible verse is coming to you all the way from Pittsburgh where I am going to school right now. So we're going to do our verse two times today. Once just me so I can show you how it's done and then once the second time we'll do it all together all right so here we go just me this time you guys just watch use your eyeballs all right god is with you wherever you go and that is from joshua 1 9 so i need everyone shake it out get your hands ready here we go god is with you wherever you go joshua 1 9 that was awesome, my friends. You guys did a great job. I will see you later. Bye. Great job, friends. We are going to be going over that Bible verse every week in October, so be sure to practice on your own. Now, as I said, today and all of this month, we are going to be talking about stories when God saved people from a storm in their life, something scary. So today's story is about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Say that three times fast. These men found themselves in quite a scary situation, but remember what I told you? God's got it, no problem. So let's play a game and then we'll do our new worship songs for October and then we'll find out what happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm getting good at saying all those names. On the count of three, say hit it. Tech team ready, one, two, three. I was at a loss until you found me You gave me a home within your love I was running blind until you showed me That life could be this good I want all my friends to know about you No matter what it takes 
Makes a mirror stop Everything I am is for your glory My life's forever yours I found one love, can't control it Hit me like a wildfire, send me emotion Nothing else compares, losing all my cash Now that
friends, listen closely. Can you guess the sound? What did you hear? The answer is a bowling strike. Nice job. Up next. So, what did you hear? Washing the toilet. Oh, man. All right, I got one more. Here we go. Okay, what did you hear? Sound familiar? An owl hooting, just like Ollie. Let's get to our lesson. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. at the Wonder Clubhouse. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny. I'm happy to see you today. But I'm really sad that it's still raining outside. <sighs> it's been raining for days and days now. I wonder if it'll ever stop. It's been raining so much, my socks are soaked, even when they were in my rain boots. <sighs> it's been raining so much, my yard has these muddy puddles. And I dropped my favorite teddy bear in one. <sighs> I really don't want to go back out in that rain again. Oh no, it's time to go home for lunch. Mom said to come home when the alarm goes off. That means leaving this warm, dry clubhouse and running home in all this rain. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Oh, this rain has you feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie. It sure does. It's been raining for days and days now, and my mom needs me to come home for lunch. I know I need to do what she says, but I just don't want to get all wet. Doing what you're told can be hard, it's true. I've got a story just for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So, he told all of the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba -da -bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! Bum, ba -da -bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay, 
So the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great. Trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa. And the king was serious. So each day the music played and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God was with the three friends, and he will be with you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego through a really scary time. God stayed with them and did not leave them. God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Well, I know God will be with me in the rain and I need to do what mom says. So, here I go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!